YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. This 50 plus coming at you one more time today. I promise you after this one, I'm going to let you alone for today. Uh, I want to first follow up with my last video. It was about the, um, uh, you know, getting started and recruiting uh, process and, you know, all that good jazz and, and, and what you would want to do to get started. What I wanted to uh, to state that I, I, I left it out the last video, I just brain farted, but for the female truck drivers, you guys want to for sure do just like I mentioned in the previous video uh, find a YouTuber that uh, that's working with the company that you're thinking about and and see if you can't uh, reach out to them and get some information from them um, the reason I'm saying that is because uh, you guys your experience as a female uh, going into uh, trucking is going to be different uh, than with males and the fact is this industry is male dominated and so um, I'm not saying that there, there was <clears throat> females going through the academy when I went through them and, and they were treated no different when you get out here and start driving this truck, it's, it, the truck don't get smaller, it don't get bigger, it don't move faster, it don't move slower, the freight's still the same. No matter what gender you are, it doesn't matter. That's a fact. So you gotta be trained the same way. So what I want to, you to uh, pay attention to <clears throat> is, uh, do, do they have facilities and all those facilities kept right and at the uh, at the yards you're gonna go to. Um, that's a uh, yeah. I got to re-rig my deal up for this truck. But anyways, um, you just want to make sure that that uh, that you, the the amenities that you're gonna need are available for you. Um, especially especially the restrooms and stuff like that um, yeah they're gonna have a, a, a male and the female restrooms but you know are they the same I don't know I hadn't been in there but uh, you know your experience is going to be different the the, uh, uh, the the lounge the driver's lounge you know are they comfortable? when they go into the driver's lounge at, at the uh, at the uh, company's facilities. I don't know. But find out before you do it. Okay, Find out about the mentoring programs at those companies where the, where the mentors, female friendly, meaning that they have females, enough female mentors to go around or that, the, that they have any problems with the male mentors. I mean, you ask questions. Okay? And uh, make sure that you make the right decision. Okay, this video. I was in a 2018 Volvo. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, 2018 Freightliner. And uh, um, my truck is a 2019 Volvo. And when I had to get into that 2018 Freightliner for... Uh, five, five weeks almost no it wasn't five weeks uh, it was uh, four four weeks it felt like four years but it was four weeks and um, when I first got to that truck I was highly disappointed yeah I felt like I was in a um, I don't know I mean the truck was just like stripped down as a basic model basic of the basic and um, I wasn't happy in comparison to this truck I thought it was subpar to say the least so why why did I think that truck was so much different than this one I think it just had I'm sorry I, I think I got some um, 
my allergies are starting up again. Um, I keep allergy, but that's why I can hear me a lot when I talk. It's because my sinuses are crazy. But anyway, um, I, I, I got to start right here, okay? All of these trucks, company trucks, probably industry-wide, but I'm going to stick with Swift because that's what I know. There's basically two levels. Or, I'd say two levels. I'm going to say three levels because there's a it's absolute basic, basic, basic of basic trucks. And, I mean, I, I think Swift is getting away from those, I, 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 to be quite honest with you. And, uh, and then there's a another level where the uh, the trucks have a little bit more cabinet space in them and you know they're a little bit better and then the top of the line for them yeah, they're damn sure ain't the top of the line truck by, by, by far but for uh, the company's truck this is the one that that'll come with the refrigerator and um, um, it's a little bit more uh, amenities on it, you know, um, uh, and the front bumpers painted, you know, you know, it's a nicer looking truck, and the biggest difference you're going to know when you walk in there is, is that it has a refrigerator built in, but the basic, basic of the basic, I don't think they're ordering those anymore, okay, they're moving more towards driver comfort, and, you know, um, a little bit more of a hook, so to speak, so that you know that if you're going to Swift, that eventually you're going to get into uh, a truck with some better amenities in them. You know, so I think that's where they're going because um, those trucks were, were were basically held to the side for diamond drivers and um, mentors. You know those trucks so um, but every one that I've seen every new Freightliner every new Kenworth that I've seen they all have refrigerators every one of them they can't all be for mentors you know and they, and they ain't got diamonds on the side so and then yesterday when I was at the uh, Phoenix yard picking up my uh, getting ready to leave with my truck it just so happens that I, I saw a guy who was in line in front of me uh, at tractor assignments when I went to get the keys for this truck. And they told him they don't have no new trucks. And he was supposed to, well, I drove 1,500 miles to come over here get a new truck. So uh, they said, she said, no, I don't have any more. And you may have to call somebody in the morning. So the guy says, okay, don't worry about it, I'll handle it. That dude pulled right up next to me in a brand new blue uh, Freightliner. He said it got refrigerated and everything in it. Oh, they didn't, it, it, well, I say everything. It's, it, it's got a refrigerator. So it, that, that that means it's got the updated, up upper level cabinet space and, and, and refrigerator section. Okay. Um, it that may not seem like a whole lot, but trust me, it do because I'm going to show you some uh, this, my space in this Volvo now. Okay. So. <clears throat> What I'm talking about is a of a Freightliner that was the, the basic of basic. Okay, they didn't even have painted bumpers. It was just a basic truck. Okay, and that truck versus this Volvo 2019, the Freightliner was 2018. That's gonna be a shitload of stuff in that, in that freight line that I'm gonna miss. Um, it had a bunk heater. This truck does not have a bunk heater. It had a uh, comfort idle where the truck you you can um, you, you while the engine's running you can turn on this comfort idle comfort and um, and it'll help keep the the, the interior at a at a at the right temperature and uh, when you tell it okay go mark the point boom the engine shuts off you don't touch the key the engine automatically shut off by itself and then 
when the desired temperature needs to be reached, it'll start back up and, you know, run the AC or heat or whatever, you know. That may not seem like a really, really big deal because it's got the bunk heat up, but in the summertime, it will definitely help with AC. But I had, you know, I was cooking in here a lot. Damn near every day I cook. And the truck needs to run to uh, to uh, keep the inverter charges. The batteries can't, can't take enough, right? The truck will start up by itself and run. And then when I'm done cooking and the, and the voltage drops down, the truck tests the batteries good and it shut itself off. It don't happen on this Volvo. I got to do my trick to keep it idling. Uh, that Volvo had uh, a uh, drive line bag weight gauge. This truck don't have that either. So what happens is when you go get your load, you can tell how much, approximately how much weight you got on the drives with the bag gauge. It'll say 50, 60, whatever, so you'll know approximately how much weight is on the, on the drives. So that kind of helps you with the balance your load before you take that first roll over the scales. This truck don't have that. That truck had cup holders, one to three of them, just in the front. There was none in the back at all. There was none in the back, but there's three cup holders in the front. This truck has zero cup holders. Well, actually, behind me on the little table part, there's two cup holders. Behind me, what the hell, I can't. What I'm supposed to do, reach back there and try to grab it while I'm driving down the road? There's no cup holders up here. Um, and it's just because Swift didn't order them. They, they, they come on, it's, it, they're removable, and they just didn't uh, uh, get any cup holders to order with these trucks. So, um, the uh, dome light in here, it is Volvo. On or off. It's pretty bright though. It light the soul joke up, man. And I was like, that I like. That Freightliner had three switches, and it was you can turn on three different modes of light, or you can have them all turn on at the same time. Uh, yeah, I, 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 good thing. Um. The, uh, this truck has on the dash a lot more uh, it's got the power outlet like a serial lighter power outlet and, and two uh, three, four four USB connections and, and one, two three power outlets in the dash alone in this Volvo <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's worth it too. And then there's more in the back, in the bunk area. Then there's some up the top for the person who would be sleeping in the top area. And there's some on this little cabinet thing behind me. They, that part is good. Okay? So, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm going to take it to the bunk. Okay, here we go. Uh, you see on my Volvo, this is, you're looking at the passenger side. That's my TV. Behind the TV is a, I showed y'all that before. There's a, uh, see there's kind of an opening right there. I put those little drawer things in there. It holds my movies and all that kind of stuff right there. That little cubby hole, it's got a, a, uh, a DVD player in there. So I'm watching the movie right now. A little DVD player in there. And, uh, uh, Damn it. That's irritating. But anyways, I'll fix it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put the... Uh, I think my son bought the PlayStation 4 or 12 or 10, whatever shit. He'll hook it up for me when I get home in a couple of days. And then we got this tall cabinet space. <clears throat> and close. So it's kind of full, right? At the very bottom, it was a pretty decent sized 
open space and you put your shoes and stuff in there. Okay? Now, this side, up the top I keep uh, uh, dry goods, dry foods and stuff like that. And then, in this cabinet, I put my convection oven in there. Okay, so the oven is in there. That's another little spot where I got some you know, plates, cups, stuff like that. And then the microwave. And see, I put the microwave on top of the little cabinet right there. And then there's, this is the drawer space. The uh, uh, Fred Island ain't even come close to that. And then this is another open space. And you see, I got a kind of some more drawers where I put you know, condiments and everything, salt, pepper, and all that good jazz. And then the refrigerator. The refrigerator is kind of small, but it worked out pretty good. The problem is you can't put a lot of stuff in it because if you do, it'll uh, it overloads it. It just doesn't uh, do very well. Uh, so I'm going to use it as my drink refrigerator, and you know, kind of kind of Then I have this other refrigerator right here, the passenger seat. Okay, in the freight liner, this big drawer was on the passenger side. And that was a big open space right there. And that's where that refrigerator would sit. It didn't have cabinets quite that big. Remember, I showed you they were, they're not quite that big. What it didn't have is that space under the bottom, which adds a lot more storage in this Volvo in comparison to that, that freight liner. But but, but with the exception of my TV, VCR, and a, a re, this this joker got a real mattress on it. I mean, this cushion. The other thing was like a cardboard. But apples to apples, you you would have you would not go see how they, how they got more more. Uh, Ports up here. There's none in that freight liner. And again, we're talking a base, base, base model. See, see, there's more right there. You know, we're talking base model on each. And if if I was going to get a uh, another truck. Let's just for argument's sake that I was going to do a lease purchase. So when you do a lease truck, you're going to get the one that has the, the, the better stuff inside. Um, and it was a Volvo. They got Volvo, Freightliner, International, and um, Kenworth. I'm going to do the Kenworth <clears throat> and I'm doing the Kenworth because um, you can get the, everything is more readily available as far as parts and concerns but you know if it, when, it, when it comes to repair but the amenities inside at that level is going to be pretty equal now I went into an international I, I, I wouldn't do that one, but the Freightliner, the Volvo, and the uh, and the Kenworth were pretty equal inside. They kind of all had the same things inside. They all kind of look the same. They don't have any more room than the others. It's it's just fine. But I beat up on that Freightliner coming out of this Volvo because. There's more stuff in here. Not the stuff that I put in. I'm saying it's just more cabinet space and, and uh, more uh, usable space in this truck. Uh, storage space than in that in that uh, freight liner. Uh, again, it's not necessarily apples to apples. But aside from the space, 
if you got the the lease version of either one of these trucks you're not gonna go you're not gonna go bad you know because i went into one i think i shot a video a short video of um being inside of a freight liner with the refrigerator and everything on I mean, it was a, a nice truck and it's got this little pass you know where you want to want to go around somebody you can pat the accelerator twice and hold it to the floor and you get an extra two mile an hour and believe me that you, when you're trying to creep past somebody the next two miles an hour helps this volvo don't have that i can mash on it all day long it ain't going fast than 65 so i'm, I'm not um I'm gonna miss that some of the features in that truck. I'm damn sure glad I'm back in this one though. I am. Like, shit, I'm more comfortable. I wish it had some of that shit that Freightliner had though. Uh, if you got, a, if you got a choice, if you get a choice, it's a brand new truck, and it's the lease level. It's the mentor level of truck. Do the Freightliner. For a company driver, do the Freightliner. Uh, there's a few things with the Kenworth that I didn't like when I was with my mentor, and I know the new ones are still doing it. They see they, they scare their own shadow when they go under the bridge. It'll slam on the brakes while you're driving down the freeway at six, five miles an hour. They do that. They really lag a lot sometimes when you step on the accelerator and you never know when it's gonna do it, but you step on the accelerator in the in the uh Kenworth and nothing happens. You just uh shit first second I think I'm gonna start in third gear. <laughs> and then take off. This is no shit. You sit down and pat the accelerator, nothing happens. Okay. And the same thing happened in that freight liner, except if you push it all the way to the floor, it goes past a little bump and automatically forces the truck to go in the gear and go. So you, does it have that problem? Yeah, but is it a problem? No, because you're going to be able to override it by just flooring it. And you can get, but if that Kenworth, she has to be in the middle of the goddamn intersection, ain't going nowhere. That's the, that's the honest truth. But, you know, it's a software issue. Uh, I've been in the car industry forever. I know it's a software issue. They just need to fix it. Are they gonna shit? I don't know. I don't know. But, basically, I, I like my Volvo. I truly do. And uh, it took me some arranging to get all my stuff back up in here the way I wanted it. And I'm gonna do a, you know, I have to actually mount that that microwave right there and this it's gonna trust will be kind of loaded out right uh, but uh, if you get the option a do the freight liner the company truck okay questions comments concerns put them all down at the bottom down there and I'll, I'll get back with you I'm also gonna put a link to my recruiter autumn uh, and if you guys are thinking about coming to Swift? Don't go online and fill anything out. Give Autumn a call. Tell her Fifty Plus sent you, and uh, and she's gonna take really good care of you. Her contacts at the bottom, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Boop.